What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions of this Infantry MDC Glow in the Dark watch. I got this off of Amazon, and right away I'm impressed by the quality of the packaging. This uh, product was, uh, I be believe I paid about $25 for this, so um, I'm already impressed by the quality of what I'm seeing here. You get uh, an instruction manual and some documents, um, a QR code that takes you to the website and a couple other things. And let's get to the watch. Uh, here you can see it comes wrapped in plastic. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out. It's got a nice protective box that kept it safe during shipping. And I got the one with the uh, stainless steel silver case and the navy and gray NATO strap. So already I like the details of this. It had that nice uh, fob that was hanging off with the, the branding on it. And you can see the military aesthetic of this watch. It has Arabic numerals around the dial. Uh, on the inner dial it has the 24 hour timer. Watch has a good weight to it. The strap also is a nice length. I like the red second hand of this watch as well. And it's got a nice crown. The crown is not screw down or locking. Let's go ahead and pull this NATO strap off and take a look at the back of the watch. So very shiny uh, finish there. It says by infantry momentary design concept. So this is a press down backing so you can pop that off if you have to replace the battery. And look at that cream colored dial. It's very nice. I mean, it has to be that color for the, the glowing feature, but uh, it's very, very uh, attractive. It's got a sort of medium sized crown there. I do appreciate the proportions of this watch. Sort of a brushed looking finish there for the stainless steel case. As you can see, I have the dimensions posted up there. It's a 38 millimeter watch, nine millimeter thickness, and it takes a 20 millimeter strap. It is water resistant to uh, 50 meters, so you should be good to go with your daily use. And let's check out this uh, current strap on my six and three quarter inch wrist. So I like this color of the strap. I, I chose this one in particular because I like the navy blue with the gray. And I have a six and three quarter inch wrist. So as you can see, this watch is very well proportioned. I, I would say my wrist is probably medium sized and you know the size of your wrist, but it's not a large watch, but it's definitely not uh, small. I wouldn't call it diminutive or uh, too small. Uh, this is one of my favorite straps to wear these kind of watches on. This is a uh, 20 millimeter uh, Zulu black uh, nylon strap, so um, I definitely prefer a uh, strap like this a lot of the time for daily use. I think it just looks nice and it's durable, it's single pass, but I love the look of this black strap on this watch. And here it is on leather. Uh, I, I love wearing field watches on leather NATOs, and uh, this watch is no exception. This, this looks great. Obviously, you give up some of the uh, go anywhere, get it wet kind of um, function with a leather strap, but uh, it's nice for uh, just kind of day-to-day use when you want to change things up a bit. But yeah, I think this watch looks fantastic um, on leather, on nylon. So... Uh, one of the main features about this watch is the loom. So let's get to that now. So I'm going to hit it with the black light for a second so you can see how impressive this is. And man, look at that thing glow. It's, it's illuminating things around it almost like it's a flashlight in and of itself when it's fully charged. But everything on this dial is super visible. You know, the numbers pop. The hands are different lengths, so you can easily tell them apart. You can see the second hands. This thing glows like a flashlight. You have no problem seeing this all night long. So, guys, this is a great watch. Uh, it's like 25 bucks on Amazon. Um, it's a great beater. Water resistance. Uh, nice loom dial. Great way to test out that feature if you like it. Highly recommend it. Uh, check it out. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, ask any questions you have in the comments.